Hey guys, what's going on? Paul here. Welcome back to another video. A very green morning in the crypto markets. Bitcoin hitting a new all-time high against the euro. Coin market cap doesn't agree, but they're looking at the wrong conversion. I'll show you that one. And we're going to look at the overall markets, the usual flow of how things go. Bitcoin having looks very likely we set a new all-time high in US dollars before that. And then we look at Ada Cardano. Is Cardano ready for a bull market yet? The chain probably wasn't ready for a bull market the last time, so that didn't stop the price. But we'll take a look at that in this one. Give value, please do. Give the video a like. Comment questions or anything below. Subscribe if you're new. I do appreciate it. Let's jump into it. So let's start out taking a quick look at coin market cap and then as we go on we'll get into the cardano stuff towards the second half of the video so bitcoin trading at over sixty five thousand dollars absolutely brilliant to see the markets with so much green in them generally we don't see this type of action before a bitcoin halving if you're new if you haven't been around for previous cycles then generally the markets aren't doing a huge amount at this stage of the four-year bitcoin cycle and we'll look at that in a minute for anyone not familiar with it you can see up here the halving is 49 days or roughly 49 days and six hours away it is dependent on the number of blocks it's based on blocks rather than time blocks are roughly every 10 minutes so it'll be something in around the 49 days before the halving if you look at the price on coin market cap for euro you can see it says down here the all-time high was 63,000 euro but that's actually wrong what this here is doing is it's taking the old all-time high in dollars and multiplying that by the current conversion rate between euro and usd if you actually look at the chart if we look at the euro chart here you can see the old all-time high was back here on november 10th i think it was for euro and that was just under sixty thousand euros so you can see right now setting new all-time highs for bitcoin against euro which is absolutely brilliant to see if we come back here and look at people ask has the altcoin season started yet generally the flow of how things work now you'll see when we talk about the four-year cycle that things are looking different this time we say it in other cycles that it's going to be different this time and the last cycle proved there wasn't a huge amount different but when you look at where we are right now it does look a bit different if you're allowed to say that this time generally what happens the path to altcoin season is money flows into bitcoin first and some starts to flow into ethereum generally this is people look outside outside of crypto people look at crypto as bitcoin and especially with the etfs and stuff like that Bitcoin is the one that most people look at. You have outliers like Doge. If Elon Musk talks about it, then some people might come in and buy that as their first crypto. This cycle, we have a lot more outlets for retail to get access to crypto without having to self-custody the funds themselves. You look at Revolut. They allow you to buy into a lot of the large cap coins. So there's potential for them to flow into this first stage up here. But generally, it's into Bitcoin, Ethereum. People who come in then they start to look around they start to look at other parts of crypto looking at other large caps first and then they put funds in there and then they start to learn about the rest of the market and they see about the insane multiples that some of the smaller cap coins can give and then they flow into that we've seen that already in the last week as was that some of these smaller caps are really attracting fomo people are looking at the huge gains that are happening there and not happening up in the bigger caps it might be holding i would say i'm going to do another video on that one and some of the lessons i've learned from other cycles just be cautious about fomo about jumping into coins that have already had a massive run because your one hasn't started yet these things generally move in flows and cycles what you will have as well is it's not just retail coming in and then they move through all these phases this is people who have been in the markets for a good while now and holding on they're looking at bitcoin they know that this type of path generally works so what they do is they start to move when they see funds flowing into bitcoin you see bitcoin takes off on a run as soon as that slows down people who have been here a while take their funds take their profits and start putting them into the rest of the market to try and get in before retail starts going into the other sections of the market so if we take a look at the bitcoin cycle then just for people who aren't familiar so that is euro let's go to usd and if we scroll all the way out then you can see 2016 was the second halving we went on to hit all-time highs of just under twenty thousand dollars and then markets fall back down in a bear market 
back up and then was trending sideways this here was this is about where we are in the cycle so the last time before the bitcoin halving the market had a huge drop this was a black swan event this was covid so it's a bit different than what we will be looking at right now but if the market had to be trending along as normal up here you would still only be around ten thousand dollars with the high for that cycle coming in then at sixty nine thousand the previous high being at twenty thousand so it was still fifty percent down from the all-time high leading into the last but are the last halving so once the halving started the markets went a bit sideways but in general if you look at the overall trend a bit sideways and then going parabolic into the bull market you would have very similar if you look at the previous cycle so even longer trending sideways so there was a bit of a run up to the halving pullback trending sideways basically all along here before really starting to go into the bull market you can see down here only at six hundred dollars and then starting to go really crazy throughout 2017 and peaking in december 2017 before heading down for the bear market people ask about ada and where or actually if we just look at if we go all the way over here the halving is going to be around let's say february march i can't remember what day exactly let's put it in here right at the end of february so the all-time high is up here and we are only very slightly down from the all-time high i'll look at that chart in a minute actually but i'd say we're only what 10 percent, less than 10 percent down from the all-time high right now as opposed to roughly 50 percent in previous cycles if we look at ada people talk about where is ada now compared to where we were the last time bitcoin was at these levels if you look at the chart on top here this is bitcoin usd so the last time bitcoin was at these levels was just after hitting the peak and it was starting to go into a downtrend roughly february or november 21 so something in around the 10th to the 15th of november so if we look at it down here this is the ada usd chart it was in around two dollars at that point if you want to go back to the first time the bitcoin hit these kind of levels was back here in april 21 so at that point then ada was around 120 i think the coinbase listing came in around that point and really pushed us up in the market too i'll have to look that one back and i done a live stream at the time so yes ada is lagging this time lots of the rest of the market is lagging too we'll see that when we look at the all-time highs and one thing that could be different in this cycle is a lot of the big institutions that are coming in or people coming in through the institutions they don't have plans to get into the rest of the market they have plans to like we look at this cycle here and generally it's into bitcoin and then once bitcoin has peaked the funds start to flow into other parts of the market but a lot of people who come in through etfs and other avenues like that will just come into bitcoin they won't be taking their funds and selling them off in this cycle anyway i know there's talk of ethereum etfs or even ada etfs or other stuff down the road before the next cycle it doesn't look like we'll have them so part of the funds that come in will stay into in bitcoin there will obviously still be lots of funds coming into the rest of the market people will get fomo expecting the rest of the market to run and there's lots of other things happening in the market this time too if we look at where ada DeFi is right now i know tvl isn't a metric that everybody likes but it is funds that are sitting in smart contracts looking to take part in DeFi on cardano over 500 million dollars right now the ada in it if you look at it in terms of ada has stagnated over the last few months i think as we get into the summer as we get new protocols launching fluid tokens are going to be bringing out more optum looking at their layer two you look at butane bringing synthetics out if you look right now you have indigo with in at number one and fairly solid in at number one with 127 million in tvl I think when butane comes in they will bring in a lot more into the market too usdm that's something moving into i suppose cardano ada where we are right now i think we're still not fully there yet in terms of what we really need for a big altcoin season on cardano i wouldn't mind if it was delayed until later in the summer when we would have the next hard fork the chang hard fork no confirmation on dates on that yet when i talked to charles a few weeks ago on the channel here he said that q2 there will be some releases and then they'll be testing and everything so maybe he didn't say this but i'm thinking maybe late q2 we'll wait for confirmation but 
things that that's going to bring is there's a SIP that will allow for Plutus V1 contracts that they can use reference scripts so they don't have to include the script in every block. Really, what that means is they don't, every transaction interacting with a V1 script doesn't need to take up as much space in a block. So it means you can get more transactions into the block. Anytime we get really busy on Cardano, you can see the blocks start to get full. Now, it doesn't mean the transactions start to fail, but it means the transactions start to take longer because they all start to accumulate but the way that Cardano was built is they can all keep accumulating up and they will eventually get through. It just means that it's slower. But if we can take out a lot of the clutter that's been put into blocks, then that would be a good thing for the chain. Also, we see lots of protocols updating SundaySwap, MinSwap, lots of other ones that are upgrading from V1 scripts to V2. So things like that will really help, really help improve the speed of swaps and DeFi on Cardano, as well as taking up less space in blocks. Longer term, look, we do need more scaling. Things like input endorsers, I'd love to have them coming in right now, but I think they are definitely, definitely a good bit out. I don't know if we'll have them for this cycle or not. I think a lot of that is going to come down to governance and what the Cardano community votes for, that they want to see prioritized and what budget is going to be there. So things like that might be getting pushed out. In the short term, we can do things like increase block sizes and with protocols advancing to V2 scripts, then we're going to see a lot of improvements there. If you look back at Cardano for the last bull market, we really weren't ready for a bull market at that stage either, but the price still peaked at just over $3. So it doesn't always, the fundamentals don't always be reflected back on the price action in a bull market. FOMO, everything like that happens. Even if you look at what DeFi we had back then, we didn't have a huge amount. When you look at what we have now, we're streets ahead in terms of what we have. But for me, am I going to start FOMOing into the market? Look, people following the channel know my bags are packed a long time within crypto. I've been around the bear market, been around the bull and bear before that. So been around a while now and I don't need to FOMO in. Anybody else coming in, should you be FOMOing into different coins and different strategies i have a few videos coming along that with lessons i've learned mistakes i've made over time but i'd say take a step back look at where the market is what's happened previously but also be aware of the differences this time and if you look at native assets on cardano if we look here on ada markets you can see that's the last 24 hours against ada let's look at the last week actually so if we look at the last week, there's lots of coins are down against ADA. So ADA has been doing very well recently, and this is against ADA. We will be adding against USD in the next release or two. We'll push that in too, where you can look at the tokens against USD. And I think with stable coins, that's one other thing that I wouldn't mind the bear or the bull market for Cardano native assets and everything on Cardano being pushed out slightly is once we have more stable coins, USDM still on target for Two weeks time, roughly two weeks from this video, we should get the initial launch of USDM. That will really help. And bringing more stables in will really help push the trading volume on Cardano up. But if you look at this, not any major green against ADA right now, which does sit with this here where things flow into the major caps. And then a lot of what I'm showing there would fall into all season down here, which would be the mid and lower cap coins. Obviously you do have some outliers on that, or even if you look over on tap tools, you get to see on 30 days, this is against ADA. You can see lots of tokens suffering over the last while. And some of this would be fear of people going from tokens that haven't rose in the market yet, jumping into other tokens that have already run or people worrying that they might miss out. So take a step back, look at, decide on your own strategy don't fomo into anything just because it has already run if you believe in the tokens you're in and the strong fundamentals within them then maybe hold out a little bit longer on the ones you're in in terms of ada i think we're probably not just where we where i would like us to be for this bull market will that stop the price or the price action or what generally happens at a bull market i don't think so you look back at what's happened before that generally isn't an impediment it could just be for new people coming into the ecosystem. I'd like to see things slightly further on before we start to really see the major inflows into the Cardano ecosystem to start getting involved and using what we have here. 
Thanks for watching, guys. Lots more videos planned. There's a live stream later today with Fareed, Pete, and Josh to cover all the latest on Cardano. A few other videos and streams maybe later this week too. Thanks for watching and enjoy the green. I'll talk to you soon.